Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Omer, and this is Pokemon Legends Arceus. This is my first ever playthrough of Pokemon Legends Arceus, and I thought that this Pokemon over here was the Pokemon they were talking about, the one-eyed Pokemon, but I think it actually might just be another special Pokemon that we haven't caught yet. Um, let's see if we can... Oh, uh, Drifloon wants to fight. Drifloon definitely wants to fight. What would be the best Pokemon to put against Drifloon, though? I'm not quite sure... Again, like, types are not, like, usually my thing. They're never usually my thing. Uh, at this point, like, we're gonna have to fight something. Um, I think, like, we have... I don't think we have... Well, actually, you know what we'll do? You know what we'll do? We'll send out this Pokemon. And then we'll just look at the super effect... The, the actual charts with the Pokemon. Uh, anything super effective? Nothing super effective, but there are effective moves. So, Fairy is effective. Ground is effective. Uh, Fire, of course, is effective. So let's try and use Flame Wheel on Dusk Gull. Very cool name for a Pokemon. Very cool name for a Pokemon. And oh, please don't die. Wait, why you turn your back? Oh, it's a there's a two. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize that. Apollo, will you guys stop? You know, it'd be really funny if all of you stopped doing that to my Pokemon, please. I didn't realize we were doing a bully match, but here we are. Sudowoodo, you're the greatest Pokemon ever created. What are you... Stop. You. Stop that right now. Uh, let's try and catch... Hopefully, we'll catch the right Pokemon. If we can ta catch the Duskull, then, like, I'm happy. Yeah. I just wanted to catch it. And now, look what's about to happen. Mystical Fire? No, you don't. Yeah. Oh, look at look at look at these. He's walking right towards him. Stealth Rock, Rock Slide. Uh, let's use a strong style Rock Slide, even though it probably won't do much to um, Drift Bloom, Drift Bloom, I should say. It did a lot. <laughs> Again, like this is like my inexperience of Pokemon, and like while like I know for some people it can kind of get um, frustrating to see like someone who like just doesn't know how to play the game, uh, just. Basically, like, trial and error and everything. Um, this is how I played Pokemon ever since I was a kid. I've never really been, like, smacked when it comes... Wait, what's it? There's more... What is this? What is it doing? Oh, the lost and found. Oh, we get our mare... Oh, yeah, we get our mare points. Great. Great. Uh, I'm, very, I'm very okay with that. Thank you very much. Um... What type of Pokemon is going to be in here? It's a Graveler. Graveler's a cool Pokemon as well. Graveler is a cool Pokemon, but like again, uh, let's send up Mob. I was thinking about this yesterday, and I hope we get another move for this, but I was thinking about it like when I was... Um, I'm doing a second playthrough of Elden Ring while playing. I know people are probably so tired of hearing Elden Ring at this point. I get it. I get it. It's a part of my life. So, From Software is always a part of my life. But I'm also playing this game and I'm playing W2K22. Ghostwire Tokyo is coming out on uh, Tuesday. Um, like, I'm, I'm getting to the point where it's like, man, like, once again, I'm like, we are super lucky to have video games. You know what I mean? And I know, like, a lot of people are going to be like, Calvin, like, we pay for them. And I was like, yeah, but, like, think about, like, um, like, how much of a miracle video games are. You know, oh, there it is. There is the Pokemon. There is the Pokemon. Ah. No, I want to catch it on awares. I think that'd be the best. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Yeah, I think, but all these guys are going to get in the way for some reason. Can you guys get out of the way, please? Like, well, this isn't your fight. This isn't your fight. Okay. Okay, if the two of you want to fight for some reason, that's fine. No, you don't use Hex. I, I like, uh, Ref. Uh, let's use a Strong Style Rock Slide. We're probably going to regret this. On the Drifloon. We probably didn't even need a Strong Style Rock Slide for that. Uh, what are you going to do to Skull? Dark Pulse going to destroy my Pokemon. It does not. But now he's going to use Leech Life and ESD avoided the attack. Uh, great. And you earned this. You earned this, Duskull. Remember this when you faint. Actually, when I beat Pokemon, they, they don't faint. They, they they pass away. It's very unfortunate, but, like, it's 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 just the rules. Um, okay, now that we have those out of the way, <laughs> let's uh, use another potion. I'm trying to use up these potions before we make any more. 
Um, I think EST is actually pretty good to fight against these guys, even though we don't have an, a proper Pokemon to, like, really fight against these guys. Can we craft anything? Uh, some of these. Yep. We'll craft four. Four is actually pretty good to have. Uh, oh my god, we're in the red. We're in the red. No, stop looking over here. But I have one eye. It's my whole thing. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. It's my thing. I can't help the fact that I have one eye. Look over there. Look at that there. Look at that there. Look at that there. I want to catch you. Wait, do we catch this Pokemon? No, no, no. You saw. You had the food. Eat the food. Oh, you took the food anyway and you still did this? Where are you? You can still see me. Please. Ugh. Can you stop? Where are you? Can you stop? Okay. Okay, you need to stop. What is this called? A Dusclops. Okay, we do not have enough things to destroy. Let's try to use a Rock Slide. Okay, that's good damage, but like it's probably gonna do you. Shadow Ball's so good. We're gonna get wrecked by Shadow Ball now. Um, let's use another Rock Slide. Let's hope it doesn't crit. What if he misses that? What if he missed it? Wouldn't that be so? That'd be such a funny prank game. No, no, that'd be such a funny prank. Uh, Tanya, get out here if you can. Thank you. Um, and then let's switch around the Pokeballs. Let's try catch a Dusclops. Because it's the exact Pokemon we need as well. Is it going to be caught? Great. We caught the Dusclops. Now we got to heal up our Pokemon. What a day. What a night. EST, well done. The strongest, the bestest, the fastest, the loveliest, the cutest. The everything is. See you guys. See you, ghosties. Bye-bye. I came to visit. Now I'm gone. I'll take this at you when I'm going. Hey, he took our medicinal leak. Yep, I did. Let that be a lesson. <laughs> Tolly. <laughs> no one gets healthy when I'm around. So the Psyduck is around here, too. We can actually probably warp right there. No, we can't. Um. No, it's right there. There's no point in warping there. There's no point in warping there right now, anyway. Do you wanna do you wanna practice with, with dust ducks? If they, I think these are like not the, not the high of a level, so oh, they are. Okay, that's what you find. That's fine. Flamethrower, one of the coolest looking moves ever. I cannot get over how much of a weirdo our our Typhlosion is. <laughs> Look at it. I mean weirdo in the best way possible as well, so please don't like be like Calvin's calling this like this weird creature a weirdo for no reason. I mean weirdo in the best way possible. It's like my favorite little weirdo. You know what I mean? Like it's it's a weirdo in a good way. I mean we might as well defeat this one as well since we're like one away from defeating them completely. And like having our Pokedex updated with these guys. You never know when someone needs a, a beauty fly to be upda to be updated in Pokedex. Beauty fly is such a brilliant Pokemon. Our Dumon is much better, but like. Yeah. I do like as well, like though, that um like like I said in a, in a previous uh, episode as well, that this game just like is so smooth. Like, and it's, and I think that's one of the things that, like, you need to have with a Pokemon game. And, it, like, and most Pokemon games do have this, where it's just, like, you can pick up the controller and just, like, get lost for an hour. You know what I mean? Because, like, while, like, you know, I love, um, like, a lot of very, like, like I, like, I love all types of games. You know, I love survival horror, but, like, survival horror is relaxing in a different way. You know what I mean? It's, like, it's, I don't play survival horror to just pick up the controller and go. I pick up, I play survival horror to feel tense. Uh, and sometimes when I'm playing Resident Evil, I do feel cozy, but, like, I like the feeling of feeling tense as well. We defeated ten Gravelers. Like, we're, like, those Gravelers are getting bullied by us. It's not even funny anymore. Are you a big boy? Are you a big boy? Take this over there. I'll catch you now, no problem. You join the team. I still want to catch a big boy. See, we still need to catch a big boy weasel. So let's see if any of these weasels... We got it, okay. I don't have space for that in? Eh? 
Take that there. That's for you. That's for you. All the good things you were doing in your life. You have a char on that, and they'll feel feel much better. Did we catch it? Yep. Maybe one of those will be it. Honestly, I have no problem whatsoever. Do we have space for this? We do. Yeah. Honestly, I have no problem whatsoever, like, using a different water Pokemon. But, like, the thing is, like, we have to think strategically about our team as well. Like, I want to put Snorlax on the team eventually, but, like, having a normal type, to, to me, has never really been, like, something that I've ever done. Like, I, I think I've never had a normal type Pokemon on my team, ever. And, like, I don't know what benefit they're going to really have, because I feel like I've gotten through every single Pokemon game without using a normal Pokemon. We'll see. I'm sure you guys, like, have a better idea of this. I love this guy's character design still. So good. Did you bring it? The Pokemon that with the name that sounds like Dust Pops? Yeah, I did. It's... Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. It's a, it's a offensive attack isn't good, but a special attack's pretty good. You really brought it? No, no, don't bring it out. Right. I guess I've got to just do my part, seeing how um determined you are to go to that island with Baskulgulgulk. Usually I am a, uh, usually I am a, as Polina if the Growlithe she takes care of can help me with this bit. But this time, you need to help since, well, since we're making the snacks so that you'll be accepted by Basklegion. Bas- Bask- Lead- Basklegion. Basklegion. Basklegion? Basklegion? Basklegion. Basklegion. Once I give the signal, you have to- that dust pops of yours to use its dark pulse. Oh my lord. <laughs> I was a free two minutes ago. <laughs> Three. Two. One. <laughs> no. I love that, like, they've totally turned this character on his head, and, like, he's actually, like, again, every character in this game is so unique. Could you get a grip? Yeah, I was going to say, could you get a grip for fun? Like, our character's a bit sassy. <laughs> right, uh, so count it down to it just makes anticipation and terror worse. Let's simply have you do it when I say go. <laughs> and go! It's funny because, like, in real life, my, like, I would be, like, like, I would literally spend two hours with someone just trying to get them through a fear of something if they needed it, you know? <laughs> Additional, uh, delicious aroma wafts wafts through the air. Basically, favorite snack is now ready. Uh, you obtained the Basque Legion food. A favorite food is Basque Legion, a Pokemon that will bury you on its back. This food is crafted in an unusual way from the ingredients gathered via an uh, equally unusual methods. Both the aroma and the shape are perfect. It's the perfect ball of Basque Legion food. Then let us make for Ginkgo Landon. We can summon Basque Legion there. There we go. We have to go to Ginkgo... Ginkgo... Ginkgo Landing. Which is right over there. Ah! <laughs> we nearly fell over. No, we didn't actually. That was on purpose. We still haven't... Uh, did we find the other shallows? It's been a few days. Have we found the other shallows? There is Big Boy again. There's Big Boy Walrus again. But we caught one of those. Like, but they, oh, so they respawn. <gasps> they respawn. Abra. We could catch the Abra again. Oh, my Lord. It's back again. But still, though, I think that, like, might be, like... If we could, like, add, like, change a, another water type to it, like, a, a mixture of water and psychic... Like, that would be the end of it. Like, that would be, like, my life complete. Like, I wouldn't have to worry about life ever again. Like, really. Like, it would be over. I want this medicinal leak. That's not my only worry in life, but you know what? Like, it's pretty close. Honey, we're really behind on, on, the, on, the, on the rent. Honey, honey, I... I, I literally found another, uh, a, a minister leak. It's, uh, and I found a shallows too. We'll be fine, honey. It's over. Wow. I really hate you. That's what they all say, honey. That's what they all say. Where are we going? Oh, I went the complete opposite way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very well. I like our team, though. I like our team. Um... So yeah, I think we will probably swap, swap for Snorlax at some point. If we don't need Snorlax, we don't need Snorlax, but we'll have him on the team for a bit at least. Hello, Ned. I was just waiting for you. Huh. 
Hello, Iskan. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Be cool, Iskan. Be cool! Be cool! Be cool! Be cool! Oh, Polina, I thought you said we shouldn't be seen together. Why? Why? I'm sure Ned can keep a secret. Besides, both I and the Growlithe pups were eager to meet the Great Basgul Legion again. I see. Well, in that case, uh, let me summon Basgul Legion. What is this between you two? I hear that, Polina? That sucked. That was really bad. Wait, are we going to have a big battle here? <laughs> what are we seeing? What does it look like, I wonder? Oh, that's actually so cool! Shut up! Go on, Ned. You can give the food to Basco Legion now. Yeah, I will. Did you see that, Paulina? Oh. Shut up! The Great Basculian. What a great design this per this character has as well. Oh, thank goodness. I was a little worried about whether Basco Legion would accept his favor. So, Ned, you should let Basco Legion hear you're playing. No. Yes. What do you think? Now we can travel on water. The game will open up a bit more for us as well, I suppose. We don't have to drown all the time. <laughs> Basco Legion opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Oh, it's way smaller than I thought it was, which actually is kind of cuter. <laughs> I thought it was a gigantic boy. A splash plate. Maybe we could turn... a psychic into a water type with this. Maybe? Get rid of Golduck. What do you think? Now you can ride Basco Legion across Tranquility Cove and head to the Firespit Island. Garao. My congratulations to you, Ned. Rawr. Paulina, do you want to tell him? Tell him what? I mentioned that before with the previous lord, uh, how the previous lord rescued his growlit pup. During that incident, Iskan and Basco Legion saved my life as well. Oh. Since then, I felt a great deal of affection for Iskan here. I truly adore him. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, now I don't want to update it. How will you update my heart? But I know there are those who speak ill of me behind my back. Who? So I tried to meet this camp where there were no prying eyes to preserve his reputation. What? That's so sweet. Oh my god. That's so sweet. Well, I was just doing what any decent person would do when I saved you. Yeah, it's so nice of you. Perhaps, nonetheless, after that day I found the strength to accept Growlithe and he is and not, uh, as he is and not forced to become the next lord. And it was all thanks to the courage you showed me, Iskan. Wow! That's really nice! So nice of you. And perhaps we should save this discussion for another time, after all. She has a really nice smile! Oh, here they are! I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go. And I'll luck to anyone who crosses, uh, ill luck who crosses any of our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be on lucky charm. So, so, uh, was it thought you spotted the four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you seen it double. I'm the middle sister, and I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads, I win. Tails, you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. Ladies, Hello. Just the girls I wanted to see. How are you doing? We're the Misfortune Sisters known across the frigid land of Hisu, and your luck just ran out. Now get ready to hand over that Growlithe. You want to take my partner? If your aim is to pester us with b bad jokes, those ridiculous instructions of yours were more than enough. Yes, exactly what uh, she said. Now, Gengar. Gengar? Oh my god, Gengar! <laughs> Barao? Wait, what did Gengar do? What did Gengar do? Yeah. 
Thanks for the Growlithe, fools. We three can't live the kind of lives we want because of narrow-minded groups like the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. If we want to live freely in the Great Land of Hisu, we need to have a powerful Pokemon on our side. Don't worry, we'll make sure this pup grows up nice and strong. We'll even make him a lord for you. Let's take the mud to our camp and get to work. No one will bother us in a place so miserably hot. Yeah, it's just me and Gengar. Oh my god, Gengar. Wait, Gengar's making them disappear like as a ghost. That's actually pretty cool. What? No, Growlithe. What should we do, Ned? This is an emergency, right? But, you see, I've, I've never actually had my partner battle before. Please, Ned, I beg of you, help us. The Growlithe is a very, very dear Pokemon to me. Please save him. They said they were going to a place where nobody could, would bother them. The only place around the Cobalt coastlines that seemed suitable is Firespit Island. Oh, now that you have the Basque Legion to help you across the, the water, you can reach that island too. Uh, could, could you find it in, in, you, in you to help Polina? Of course. Yeah, of course. Easily. I'll help Polina. I love Polina. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. Yeah. I'm I'm a nice guy. <laughs> could you imagine if we did that? I'm a nice I'm a nice guy. Why do girls only go for dickheads? <laughs> <laughs> like that person who posts on Twitter all the time. I'm a I'm a nice guy. I got a nice car, nice clothes. You know. To be honest, like it's not like that stuff isn't funny because I can get pretty dangerous after a while. That type of that type of shit. So like it's not even joke about that type of stuff. I suppose. Uh, we'll make our way to Firespot Island as well. No, Polina, you should wait here and keep a look around. Because that's what I'm saying. Like, like as much as like I love, I love Polina. Like, her happiness is more important than like you know me thinking she's pretty. You know what I mean? If you get what I'm saying, like that's always gonna be more important. I'm sure he needs you right now, and it is pretty sweet this little couple they have here. To be honest, though, I'm not sure I want to go to an island with lightning and bandits and no. Come on, Ned. No time to think. We must go now. You should also know that Basquiat can jump from the water surface and then ju and then jump once again in the air to go even higher. You can throw items from Basquiat's back too. In your case, I guess that would mean throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon. Honestly, I have to admit I'm a little scared. Do you think you could head over first? Sure. Oh, we have a we have a soft smile. Awesome. Press this. Yeah. Okay. That's that's the wild rat museum. You throw items. Watch more Basquiat jumps in the air. You'll have more time to adjust your aim for. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I'm actually very happy for you too. I'm sorry for acting very irrational uh, a while back. There we go, and that's how we activate this. Oh my god, I look cool. <laughs> What's that? Is that a... Is that a... What is that? It's like a bunch of... Oh, it's like a, like a manta ray thing. Get in the Pokeball. Get in the Pokeball. We caught a Mantike. That's pretty cool. And we can press, uh, we, we have a button to jump as well, right? And that's gonna help us like do like precision catching. It is pretty sweet. And I feel like they, with these characters, they kind of like turn the characters completely on their heads. Um, Like they are like, oh, you're, you're, you wanna attack me, do you? Oh, sorry about that. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, they turn the character completely on his head. I love how nervous he is, and I love how, like, she kind of, like, clearly takes control of the relationship, or whatever it is they have there. And maybe it could be completely platonic as well. Like, I could be reading into it, like, wrong. Like, and if it is platonic, let me know. You know, I'm not, I'm just, you know, I'm just a simple, simple boy. There's a Togepi. Let's catch it. Let's get this. There is, yeah, there's a Togepi. <laughs> like, it's just, it's just a Togepi hanging out here. Oh, it saw me. It's trying to kiss me. It saw me, and it's trying to kiss me. Oh, dude, yeah, we can go through there. Through that little chasm there. Did Togepi disappear? Togepi disappeared. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we'll get this anyway. Um, I don't know how many islands we should really visit. 
But it actually feels pretty good now that we can travel on the water. This is actually like a really interesting way that they let us travel on the water too. Feather balls, great balls. Actually, net balls might be really good here if we could get any of those. If there are those in this game. What is that? Oh, it's just the iron chunk. There we go. I like how it just naturally adjusts as you go up here like this. We almost activated the bear there for a second. Um, so they, they ran away. They ran away. Okay. Again, like, we're not, like, ultra catchers. We're not trying to catch every single Pokemon in the game. Uh, it would just be, like, super nice to be able to. Wait, does it transition right away? It does. That's really nice. That's really, really nice. I want to go through here. I want to see all this on this island as well, though. Like, I wonder if there, there's clearly going to be different Pokemon in the nighttime as well. So, let's try and see who that is <laughs> also, like, you know, because... What is that? Oh, it's another Shellos. It's the other Shellos. What I needed. You're what I needed. And you're very docile. Here, have an Orenberry. You deserved it. I won't catch you. I won't catch you. But... I will. And we caught the other shellos. That's the second shellos we caught. Uh, let's craft some items as well. We can craft some great balls, I think, can we? No, we can't? Could have sworn. Wait, no, yeah. Throw on items. There we go. Uh, great ball. Six of these. Uh, is there anything else we can craft? That's all of the stuff we can craft. At least we're making some space. Uh, yeah, we caught that shellos. Is this where we have to go, by the way? I love the little jumps as well. I hope we get to see more water Pokemon as well. I, like, I really would like to catch a tentacool. Again, we always talk about that reverence for the original 150, of course. Tidal Passage. With that, guys, though, we're going to end this video here. And in the next one, we're going to head towards Fire Spit Island. I'm super excited. So much happening. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.